Tell me about how Hell's March came to be. First of all, it's Hell March. Hell March! No S. No yeah. S. Good to know. I would have made that mistake in the credits if not for you. Okay, Hell March. Um, so I came up with Hell March. One day I just woke up and I said, you know what would be a cool idea for a song is to write our heavy rock tune to, to the sound of marching boots. You know, I think that would go well with, with the Command and Conquer series. So I get in my truck and I drive to work and uh, I find a sample real quick of, of the marching so I can kind of set the tempo up. I picked up my guitar and literally the first riff I played is that main riff you hear right in the opening. It just kind of happened. And I was just like, yeah, okay, there we go. And I just started going with it. And I literally wrote the whole song, finished it that day. Just the kind of bam, 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 knocked it out. You know, and I was pretty happy with it. I figured, you know, this will go well with whatever the next Command & Conquer game is. I didn't know much about it at that time. Then uh, the president of Westwood came into my office and asked me if I had anything new to hear. And, and I said, uh, yeah, I've got this, you know, heavy rock and tune I just came up with, I think it's cool. And he listened to it and he goes, you know what, this is the theme song for the next Command & Conquer game. And I was like, wow, awesome. There's, the, of course, the sample of the guy who's, who's yelling, he's a military commander in there, and, and um, there's a whole mythos now that is built up about what does this guy say. Uh, I've been asked so many times. When I first got the sample, I thought, okay, you know, I'm trying to figure it out myself because I couldn't really understand it either. Um, I thought it was like, we want war, wake up, uh, what, is, you know, what am I going to make up that this guy says? I had a lot of people tell me, no, this is German, this is, uh, he's saying, die Waffen late un, which is roughly translates to ready your weapons. So I was like, okay, I like that, we'll go with that. Uh, but short of not having been there to record the guy actually saying it, I really don't 100% know. So this mythos of what he says still lives on to this day, still gets argued about by the whole community of Command and Conquer fans. I think my favorite uh, interpretation that somebody offered was, these waffles, they suck. So tell me about this uh, crazy guitar we're looking at right now. What, uh, what's the history behind that? Uh, my custom uh, guitar is made by um, a guy named John Taggart, uh, has a, his own custom guitar shop called Tag Guitars, and uh, he builds just really great high-end guitars, and he approached me once and showed me the body idea for that guitar he had built, and I said, that looks really cool. I was like, but, you know, does it sound good? You know, that's the... The thing, I was like, I could see that being a great stage piece, but, you know, ultimately, if I was going to buy a custom guitar, I would want it to, you know, get all the sounds that I really want. So he's like, well, we can work on that, you know, let me, let me get an idea of what sounds you're looking for. We'll find some pickups that go in it. We'll see how, how it comes out. You can give it a shot. So we picked out the electronics of it, and uh, after a couple of different pickup sets, I narrowed it down to some uh, Seymour Duncan Allen Echo 2s. Um, the three position switch that gives me just the best of the chunky hard rock and metal stuff and then just the, on the other side the bluesy and jazzy stuff and then all of the funk stuff that I like in between. That became my studio and you know all around go-to guitar. I played a Paul Reed Smith before that which is what I tracked the original Hell March tracks with. Uh, that and I had a Mesa Boogie DC5 amp that I used with a Shure SM57 and um, but since then, I've updated uh, my, my gear uh, to a much better sound, much more refined sound, where I'm using my uh, Tad guitar, custom guitar, but uh, with a Rivera knucklehead reverb amp and with an Audio-Technica 5045 microphone and also an Empress heavy pedal, distortion pedal. Uh, that is now my go-to sound for anything hard rocking or, or heavy metal uh, because I get I get all of the rich mid-range that I was missing before with my previous rig and previous sound choice. Uh, I just have much better gear to choose from now and, and much more innovation has happened with guitar gear and microphones in general since then. So that is also part of why I made that choice and it's also what you're going to hear on the new recording.